I read up on guests before I come on the show so I know what they've been up to and, and maybe find out things I didn't know about them in the past. But there's it's quite strange. All of you, there are rumours about you online, right? And Ooh. some of them, I'm sure, are true and some of them, I'm sure, are not. So I thought, wouldn't it be a nice way to dispel some of those rumours? Let's play a game, <laughs> true okay. or false, with right. these rumours. So I'm going to read out some of the rumours or get you to read them out and the rest can decide whether it's true or false. You, you up for that? Yeah. OK, yeah. so if you want to hand these down, these are some paddles. Yeah. This is true on one side, false on the other side. OK, and we've got the rumours written down here. So we'll just read the first one now. Let's start with Jack. Read out the first rumour and we decide it's true or false. You tell us. Don't give it away like okay. that. OK. I have a glass eye. <laughs> I so want this to be true. <laughs> it might not be in his eye socket, though. Maybe he's got one he carries around with him for good luck. <laughs> it is false. Uh... But it... Wh which one did you think was the full size? Yeah, which one? I, I, I mean, it could be any of them. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that, 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 that's a genuine um, rumour online about you. I read that rumour when, when it I comes first from? did television. I did um, Celebrity Big Brother's Big Mouth, and I was the host of it, and I foolishly went online afterwards and read in a forum a thing about me, and the line at the top was, does Jack Whitehall have a glass eye? <laughs> and then underneath, there was all these people debating whether or not I had a glass eye, which then genuinely gave me such a complex. And then the next night, when I had to host the show, I was moving my eyes around <laughs> like, <laughs> to try and show them that I did it. Uh, Kush, yeah, we got another first? <clears throat> I once had a wee next to Beyonce. <gasps> Well, we've all done that. <laughs> it is true. True. And where was this? At the Met Gala. Oh, you've been there? I have been there. And there's only really one toilet because the rest of it's taken up with decorations. So you end up in a queue for the toilet. Like, I was, like, in front of Bette Midler and behind Beyonce and she was in, like, a plastic dress that was just plastic stuck to her because it was plastic year or something, whatever they were doing. <laughs> and then she went in the toilet and I could hear them peeling the... peeling. You know, she goes to the toilet and I just, you know, concentrated and just did my wee, not wanting to disturb her. And I just tried to wee as quietly as possible so as not to disturb the magic or yeah. annoy, <laughs> annoy her or, you know, maybe we could be Queen friends. B. Yeah, so yeah. I just quietly weed and, and thought about how lucky I was to be in that situation. <laughs> <laughs> I you, served you... her, you know, I served her once in the knicker shop. In the, yeah. The famous knicker yeah, shop yeah. that I worked in. So Beyonce came in with a group on her own? She came with an assistant and... I was just a shop assistant and, and it was a day when everyone had called in sick and there was no staff except for me and one other person and um, I was serving some awful customers that were really bossy and she walked in, Queen Bee, like, oh, you are absolutely my idol. And I tried to keep it cool and I was just like, hello, ma madam, can I help you? Like treat her normally because I knew that's what she would have wanted <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then she went in and then she came to the till at the end to sort of sign her bill extortionate <laughs> and, um, and then she just like held my hand she went what else do you do and I went this is really lame but I, I do sing and she held my hand and she went, I wish you all the luck in the world with your career. You're a special person. Wow. And I was like... Ah. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks, B. Uh, <laughs> that's amazing. Uh, you got one more for us? OK. Uh, I, <laughs> I spent £40,000 on a diamond-encrusted mouth guard. I mean, yeah. horribly, Come I suspect on, that's true. OK. Yeah. Oh. I mean, when, how often are you going to wear it? <laughs> Ploma. Would you? Um, add a, yeah, uh, I'll do one. I gave Alan Carr, Adele and Adele's dog food poisoning. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. To you. To you. How did that happen? How did that happen? Uh, it was an accident. I, I love her, I love them both, but I've known Adele for a long, long time, and I met Alan sort of through her, and I was like, I'll, I'll cook everyone dinner, and then I bought some meat from a local supermarket, <laughs> which I won't name, but I blame them because it did. It wasn't past the sell by date, and I know it was that meat because you know when you get food poisoning and afterwards you know exactly what it was that gave it to you. When it comes out. Just like, Woo! But the problem was the dog had a little bit as well, and the dog got the shit. Wow. <laughs> but the positive is it's inspired Adele to write her next album. Yeah. 
<laughs> and that album is going to be called 42, <laughs> which is how many hours she was strapped to the shitter for. 